Sir, Captain Miller, 2nd Battalion reporting as requested. At ease. Excellent job on taking out these 88s. They'll take out fewer birds because of that. Here's my field report. Six deaths times four wounded. Recon didn't pick up on a bunker 15 yards from the 88s, so by the time my ears started ringing, eight bodies hit the floor. They... the Germans didn't... They didn't want to give up on those 88s. It's okay. You know this by now. We're going to lose men to gain ground. Then there's that big boat home. I've got six guys left in my squad, including a medic. That's down from 60 on the beach. One's my replacement still. Before that happens, I have another mission for you. And this one's straight from the top. Lieutenant Colonel Hutchinson, there's an urgent matter. Betty, there are men dying every minute in the Pacific and in Europe. What could be so urgent? That's exactly what this is about. It's been brought to my attention from the Midwest Dispatch Secretary that there are three telegrams being sent to the same Wisconsin farm, and they all have the last name Ryan, and all are between 20 and 26, and none of them are married. Dear God, so one mother will receive the news of all her sons being killed at once. Not all. According to the draft board, there were four Ryans from that address who reported for duty. They prepare a memorandum on the double. Have me connected to the general's office. Uh, general Eisenhower or General Mar Ike's got to deal with, uh, enough with the Brits and Russians. Uh, connect me to General Marshall. Yes, sir. We have a mother who's lost three sons, and the fourth is one of the airborne dropped in Normandy. Sir, there is no way to know whether Private Ryan is alive or KIA, and if we send more men in there without support, all of them would be KIA too. After losing the Sullivan brothers in, in one shipwreck, department policy has been to separate blood relatives so as to lessen the chances of a family annihilation. You will send the audit down, just as I am with you, and find Ryan and his to return at once for that big boat home. Yes, sir. Out of all the other squads, I get this PR mission. That's how it plays out. You've been through Africa and Italy. The men remaining are battle-tested. It goes against what we've been taught. A private's life is cheap. A general, yes. A humble captain, not a chance. The generals above us have made an exception. Take the road to the first town. Start asking around where Ryan's platoon was dropped. Someone in the 101st has to know where he is. All right. I want a guy from Intel who speaks French and German. You want a desk jockey who hasn't touched a rifle since basic? I'll need to find out where the Americans are from the civilians, and I want every available detail of German strategy if I come across any captured maps or POWs. Done. Three days rations and ammo for four days, okay? Three days rations is fine, but I need ammo for a week. A week? For a search and rescue? The beachhead is secure, but we're not exactly rolling in supplies yet, Captain. I didn't give you the order to defend the Alamo. No, sir, but the men you didn't send on this PR search and rescue will go through more food than bullets. My team is headed into a foobar area, turning over leaves and dead bodies searching for this Ryan fellow. If I do find him... I don't want him to lend me a cup of sugar, a cigarette, and a box of ammo to hold me over until we report back to you. Permission granted, Miller. See Sergeant Pepper at the ammo depot and move out. You're a damn good negotiator, Miller. What the hell did you do before this? I stood on the front line fighting ignorance from overwhelming enlightenment, sir. You mean you were some kind of librarian or managed a printing office? <laughs>